Well, if you've gone to the grocery store lately, you may have run into this empty shelves. Yeah, hundreds of you responded to our call on Facebook to share what you're seeing and the photos you sent really show this is a widespread issue. I couldn't even get bread earlier today. I went to the grocery store like right each day this week to try and get it out of stock. So many shelves completely empty and with another storm coming in, some shoppers are worried a bad situation will only get worse. Yeah, our Scott Broom is live in Burtonsville, Maryland tonight and Scott, you talk with shoppers and grocers about what's going on here. What are they telling you? Well, uh, I mean, you're out here today and I can see that the rush you typically get before a winter weather forecast that has not started yet. But if you go inside stories as you have just shown us, it looks like there's been panic buying going on for more than a week more, uh, or more, according to shoppers I talked to today. Reactions today to the empty shelves being reported throughout the region. A giant in Dale City, Virginia, a Trader Joe's in Silver Spring, a Safeway in Fort Washington. I verified with store visits today these shots are from a giant in Montgomery County, produce particularly hard hit. I feel like I'm back in 2020 all over again. Half of the eggs were gone. No eggs? No organic egg. I don't need the little one. So I have to go to another giant to see if I can find it. And the main thing is I had to wind up buying things that I normally would not buy. And I found myself buying more than I normally would buy. Grocers issued statements. The prolonged pandemic and last week's weather has caused continued strain on our supply chain, said Dan Wolk, a spokesman for Giant. A lack of truck drivers, weather, lack of store employees, COVID illness, and production slowing because of employee issues continues to impact our shelves, said Kaylee Locklear of the Maryland Retailers Association. Lisa DeLima speaks for the specialty grocery chain Mom's Organic Markets and gave some examples. I think the biggest thing post uh, Christmas has been the labor shortages. And, you know, those are because of COVID. Obviously, the weather has compounded things. The bigger hit is the distributors that we all order from. We are hearing anywhere from 10 to 20 percent of our workforce calling out on any given day. They might come back and say, well, we can ship you 80 percent of what you ordered today. DeLima said last week's snow in the mid-Atlantic region also delayed some deliveries. Is this a long-term thing that we're going to continue to be dealing with, or is this just another blip on the radar? I mean, I think it's a blip on the radar. Okay, so she's calling it a blip on the radar as a result of COVID and things that are hopefully temporary. As a result, retailers I talked to today said there is no reason for panic buying, which Shoppers told me, of course, just makes things worse going into a snowstorm weekend. On the other hand, these shortages of specific items I saw in the store today, uh, chicken, lots of produce items, some milk items. These shortages right now are real in these stores and going into a possible snowy weekend. Giant Food Statement is saying in advance that they appreciate customers' patience. Reporting live in Montgomery County, Maryland, Scott Broom, WUSA 9. I've been practicing patience a lot lately. Scott, thank you.